In the past video we saw how to create escalators, while well, in this video we are going to go a little bit back to the path creation and how to avoid certain issues hmm, that could be hmm, present sometimes. So let's see here. Well, okay, so imagine that we are going to create this path hmm, right across this hmm, these slopes and we do this, okay, create this path starting point ending point perfectly it uh, adapts perfectly to the surface and then what we do is just to wind make it wider then we select the path and we set the actors to be let's say 15 and click generate and then here we have a problem okay houston we have a problem because because here in the middle right where the surface is different changes in height we have no node okay so even if a straight line would be fine with just two nodes i always suggest you to use more nodes for this reason first of all and then the other reason is that the more nodes you have always in general this is we don't have to have uh, 100 nodes for a straight line obviously the more nodes you have the more chances to then make changes without having to recreate that path there are okay so in this case what we should do well in this case we should create this path in a different way okay uh, like this starting point then creating here at least one point on top of of this surface and then going down okay this is a way, okay? This is, well, this is a way. This is the way to, to solve that problem. But what I suggest to you, for example, to, to do when creating a path, unless you already know exactly, you plan perfectly where to place each point, okay, is to do this, okay? Create a starting point, then another point here, another point here, another point here, and keep going, okay? Something like this. And then this is the same path, okay, with a difference that there are six nodes instead of three. And so we can change more uh, width, we can move more nodes, and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's say here we place 15, and as you can see, the problem is solved. And the same thing goes here, okay? So here 10, generate, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So the important thing is that the nodes are the references to the heights not just the path but the nodes also so more nodes the more nodes you have the more information you are giving to anima to place correctly the characters of on uneven surfaces for example okay let's see another case where we could have some problems let's say here okay something like this okay we create another path walkway tool well left click and if we try to do this, we start having the problem right when creating the path. As you can see, it, it doesn't uh, adjust correctly mm, to the surface. Now, this is the same problem, okay? We need more nodes, in this case for, with the stairs. So, what we should do is just to create one more node here, okay, like this, and then like this, okay? And that's it. This would solve already mm, any of the problems. So 15 characters, and there we have it. We also here, I would suggest you to create one starting point here, one before the stairs, one after the stairs, mm, perhaps one in the center of this part, and then so on, okay? So this is another case where you have to understand that the more nodes you use, usually the better, you don't have to exceed okay this is of course important and then here we have this sort of uneven surface a sort of noise on well it's not flat surface as we we've been working till now okay what happens here well here actually doesn't have anything but if you want to help anima even here better to use more nodes well let's try here for example like this like this like this like this like this and like this okay now i've avoided to create a, a straight path okay then here what we can do is just to select this and change the path and the more nodes we have the more chances to 
change the path without having to recreate it we have okay we deselect it and then we do this okay i select this i place it place here 10 characters generate and spacebar and as you can see they walk perfectly on this uneven surface okay so this is very very important so when you have to create a path always think mm, a bit before of where to put nodes and how many more in, in general you want to you want to use okay the more well actually the better but mm, keep in mind not to overdo it then another example just to be just to ex creating something a bit more interesting is for example this example here okay here we have a well a bit a section of a park let's say and i will create in here mm, in this path mm, a sort of a running uh, track okay or something like that so path here i will be creating as you can see i'm going to create several nodes mm, here and here mm, being careful we don't have to create one the old track we can stop here then go back go close and trying to to complete it okay so in this case i will just deselect it with the escape key and i could do this well i'm exaggerating now okay but as you can see here we all these nodes and in general this will adapt mm, to the surface mm? so i will just do this mm? i will select this path and we'll place here let's say 20 characters mm? i will click generate mm? but i want them to run mm? so i want them to run i could choose to change the speed but in this case i will simply mm, assign the locomotion run category uh, of the motion clips mm? here in the option motion clip category okay so all these will be running as you can see okay okay so this part is for running people but there i could create here another path mm, to just have a walk and crossing the, the bridge and going on the other side and going coming on this this way okay same thing goes here say that you see now i've been exaggerating here okay but what we can do since we have more nodes is just to adjust this mm, the way we need for example if these two nodes are too close well no problem mm, i can move them and they will adjust perfectly okay so same thing goes here so the more nodes i mean not too many but enough to being able then to change things okay so same thing goes here i will just select this and here i will place 15 characters mm. as you can see i like 15 as a number okay and the last thing is that we can create also crossing we i don't have to i have to remember to deselect the a path unless uh, if not i will continue the path okay so like this 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 mm. As you can see we can create a different situation okay so deselect i will well this a bit more narrow and then generate okay so we can create different different situations okay always taking into account that uneven surfaces is are not a problem in anima always consider that we are creating the path correctly with enough nodes for example okay so let's stop here the simulation and with this video we stop here see you in the next ones